Hey everybody, this is just me um, tweaking my video, um, editing my video. I made the video a couple days ago and when I made the video I was <laughs> kind of spacey, kind of an airhead and so I did a lot of rambling, I did a lot of editing in this video and prior to that I was outside taking care of the animals, I was down on my knees petting one of our dogs and the neighbor dog came over and I was petting on him and I was actually over by the awning of our or underneath our horse trailer and there's this huge hitch that hangs down like a fifth wheel hitch and I got up not even thinking about it and walked right into it and it didn't knock me out but it did split my head open just a little bit and um four stitches later and yeah, and then I came home and the box of wax was sitting here for me and I was so excited. So I got spruced up, got fixed up, and I decided to make a video. And so I think that's why I left a lot of things out. <laughs> and my head is actually, this looks better now. Um, I get to have the stitches out in a few days and it's actually healing up quite well. The PA that did it, she did a really good job. Anyway, um, so yeah, so then I created the video and I was like, man, I should have waited a couple days, but I was so excited to get my box of goodies from Waxidents that I just wanted to share right away. And so now back to Waxidents, the owner, the owner's full name, and I mentioned her first name, but not her last name. Her full name is Amanda Nedekoven. She also has a little channel here on YouTube, but she hasn't done any videos in a while and I wanted to tell you Amanda I miss you you know she I love her reviews on her empties she's very straightforward and um I need that I need that you know from people but I also want you to see that this is one of the melts that I got and what she does is at the top she puts smells like that's her description and this is for example Christmas cookie peeps and then it's she's got smells like Christmas cookies, sugar cookie royale, and peeps. And then she's got the name. And then down here she has the born on date, which means her poor date. And then on the very bottom, she has all the information available to where you can find her. You can find her on Facebook and Instagram. And so I'm going to hold this up. So you can see that, and if you want to take a picture of that, do whatever, but I just appreciate that so much, Amanda. And yeah, I'm always scrambling for scent notes. And also, I was in contact with her two and a half weeks prior to my order, and she helped me put my order together ahead of time. So I really, really appreciated that. So. That's all I have to say, and also stay to the very end. I'm going to pan all of these. Um, you'll get to see all of my wax melts that I bought. I purchased from Waxidents and Walmart all on one table so you can kind of take a better look. I kind of like that. I like that when people do that for me, and I haven't been doing that, um, but I think I need to start doing that again. So, you guys, bye-bye. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Well, today I have an order to share with you. Um, my March no-buy ended on March 29th, or my no-buy ended on March 29th. It was a 90-day no-buy. I did place an order with a vendor, and this vendor worked very, very hard, and she fulfilled my order. She worked on it over Easter weekend, you guys, and I am so excited and the company is Waxidents and um, I haven't placed an order with Waxidents in a very long time. I was debating on to try somebody new and there were some new ones out there that I really wanted to try but I decided to go back to my try, tried and true ones that I liked and it was Waxidents. Um, I went through my last little package of Waxidents um, last month and I was like, you know what? I need to place another order and so I did. Between Thursday and Monday, this lady took care of my order and I just love that. I just love how she 
did this. But yeah, to work over Easter weekend, that was just, thank you so much, Amanda. That means a lot to me. Um, so then my order came to around $77 and some change and my budget was $100. So then that same day that I placed my order, I went to Walmart and I got a few things from Walmart. So I'll have to show you those items as well. So you guys, I'm super excited about this. And so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I went ahead and took some things out. And I just kind of wanted to show you, she packaged it very, very well. And it was inside the screen paper with this um, curly Q stuff. And she had um, plastic wrap also over the top. She had some other packing materials. And also my invoice was here with a note that says, thank you for your order. I hope it's roar-tastic. Enjoy, Amanda. So. I'm going to go ahead and show you what um, I got here. So um, with every order, she always sends an overpour dinosaur, and it's called Waste No Waxosaurus, and mine is a Triceratops. And he smells really sweet. He almost has like, almost like a clean, almost like a clean shaving cream type of dude but he's also sweet and I can maybe even smell marshmallow, which contains a lot of the items from my order. So I'm wondering if he's over pours from my order. So I'm super excited. And then she gifted me a sample and this is like a full size uh, wax melt. And I think it's like one of her small dinosaur wax melts. Or, um, and this one is called Date Delight. There's no description on what this one is. Now this one smells almost kind of fruity and green at the same time. I really like this. Yeah, this is really, really nice. So there is that one. And then she sent me a thank you bar. And it is um, chocolate marshmallow clouds. And she put on here smells like creamy chocolate milk, marshmallow clouds, and vanilla. Now this smells like a chocolate Easter bunny to me. Yeah, and I didn't get a chocolate Easter bunny for Easter, so this is perfect. Yeah, chocolate marshmallow clouds is what the scent is. It smells like creamy chocolate milk, marshmallow clouds, and vanilla. Yeah, to me it smells kind of like chocolate milk, but mostly it smells like an Easter bunny, a chocolate Easter bunny. I really like that. So that is in my thank you bar. So those are the samples that she sent me. Okay, so I ordered four um, random dinosaur shapes, and I've already taken these out of the package, but I haven't really smelled them. So the first one is this one. It looks like it's a brontosaurus, and it is called Dino Shade. It is cashmere cedar, cocoa butter, cashmere, and coconut shea. And that's Dino Shea. Oh, this smells so good, you guys. This does smell like cocoa butter. <sighs> this smells so good. I love this. Yes, this is awesome. And then she has like the born on date, 329.24. Yeah, this smells so good. Okay. Okay, the second one is Route 66 type. I love uh, Sensi's Route 66. And there is another dinosaur. Oh wow, this is nice. This smells like Route 66 from Sensi, it really does. And I love that scent. Oh man, the scent notes are lemons, limes, orange slices, jasmine, rosewood, warm musk, exotic patchouli, and soothing woods. 
this is a most wonderful blend this is nice very very nice thank you Amanda I you nailed it this is so good yes so the next one is barbershop I've ordered this one before I love barbershop and that looks like a t-rex yes I love this it's um, talcum amber rum blended with musk yeah it is really really nice and I'm not really totally into the talcum powder scent itself but when it's blended that is really nice so that is barbershop okay and the next one is Niasara and here is the Niasara and it is sage leaf cedarwood and blackberry Oh, this is nice. This kind of smells like body wash. Like, yeah. And I think it's the cedar wood and the blackberry that's kind of turning it in that direction. But it's a fresh and clean scent, and I like that. I like that. And that's kind of like what I was going for. A lot of these dinosaur sore shapes were kind of in that realm. Okay, so the next ones I'm going to share with you are the four ounce chunks, and I got four of those. Okay, I take that back. I got five. I got five of them. All right, so I'm going to start with the first one I got is called Ambrosia, and it smells amazing. And these are the chunks. This is the four ounce, and it's actually over four ounce. I weighed some of these. Some of these are 4.2. I mean, yeah. Um, so it is orange, pineapple, banana, and coconut cream pie. You guys, this is so amazing. I can definitely get the banana and the coconut cream pie. That orange and then the pineapple. It is so good. I am so excited about this one. So that is Ambrosia. The second one is Christmas Cookie Peeps. There is the wax melt. Oh yeah, this is definitely like an extremely sweet Christmas cookie. I do kind of get the peeps with the peeps. This is going to be so fun to warm or even blend. This is so good very 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 good so it smells like christmas cookies sugar cookie royale and peeps yeah this is good this is really really good okay the next one is called cherry poppin this is very much a cherry scent wow that's a cherry scent that is a very bright cherry um, that is um, cherry, strawberry, and fizzy pop. Yes. I think it's the strawberry that gives it that brightness. So, yeah. Okay. And then the other two... Oh, I gotta shut that window. Hold on. Now, the other two are ones that I requested that she made um, special for me that were not on the scent list. I was looking for a lemon blueberry pound cake. And this is, let's see, no, that's not the one. This isn't the one. This is blueberry buckle. This is one that she had. I do have one in here that she created for me. Okay, it's over there. All right, so this one is blueberry buckle. And here it is. This is on her scent list. I mean, this is a lot of wax. This looks like way more than four ounces, you guys. Way more. And it is white cake, blueberries, cream cheese, frosting. I'm so excited, you guys. <laughs> this smells so good. I can smell the cream cheese, the blueberries. <laughs> this is so good. All right. Now, this one she created for me. Um, I was looking for banana bread. And here it is. 
It's even in a bright yellow. I love these chunks. Look at these chunks, you guys. Okay, it's banana and fresh baked bread. Now this, I do smell the fresh baked bread. And the banana I'm getting is a very bright banana. It's almost like it borderlines uh, banana runts. But it's a very, very bright banana. But you can get the bread. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. But I, I don't know if it's as close to the banana bread I was looking for. But I like this right here in itself. I like this. A lot because I love banana so this is awesome so yeah so thank you so much Amanda all right so those are my chunks and so now I am going to show you the bunt packs that I got these little um, bags I must say are sealed shut very very well and also these plastic bags are heavy-duty and I appreciate that. That means that they're going to maintain the scent very, very well. Okay, the first one I'm going to talk about, it's in my hand, and I picked up three, three bunt packs, is called Enchanting Peony. And there's different types of shapes in there. And in Enchanting Peony, it's Bergamot, Rosewood, Palo Santo, and Pink Peony. This is beautiful. This is so beautiful. I definitely get like the Palo Santo, the Rosewood. I can get that. The Bergamot, I don't know. The Bergamot, I think, is the subtle one in there that kind of connects everything. And that pink peony isn't too over the top. I was worried that it would be, but it's not. Sometimes peonies, peony scents will give me a headache. But this one does not. This on cold, this is beautiful. So yeah, so that is Enchanting Peony. I think it's the Palo Santo in here that really um, gives it a whole new feel. It's really nice. I'm getting used to Palo Santo scents and um, I did talk to Amanda about that and she, I asked her, I says, what are some good ones? And she says, well, I like to gravitate towards the Palo Santo. So if she likes Palo Santo scents, then that maybe tells me that I bet her Palo Santo is really good. That's all I'm saying. So, yeah. Okay, the next one is, and it is, I like it in this enchanting peony. Okay, the next one is Orange Dream Noel. And here's the heart. Okay, it is... Orange, Dreamsicle, Vanilla Bean Noel type. Oh, this is nice. This is so nice. Oh, man, the orange in here is Orange Creamsicle. And that Vanilla Bean Noel, yeah, that is so nice. So, so nice. Okay, the next one is um, Tiffany's Red Dinosaur. So this is one of her blends. So, yeah, so this is um, Cupcakes at Tiffany's. Red Velvet Cake and Sugar Cookies. Oh, you guys. Oh, my goodness. I love this scent. I mean, I like them all, but I think this one just moved up the ladder. <laughs> oh, and that is Tiffany's Red Dinosaur. That is super sweet. It smells really like, you can smell the cupcakes at Tiffany's. You guys, it is so good. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yes. If this one turns out really well, I might have to go back. I'm on another no-buy. So maybe at the end of my no-buy, which will be June 26th now, so I have to wait till then. Or is it the 27th? I think it's the 26th. We'll say it's the 26th. Um, I might have to go back and order a loaf of this. This is so good. And she has the most beautiful loaves too. But I just was like, oh, I don't know. But this is really good, you guys. Oh, wow. Okay, so that is Tiffany's Red Dinosaur. Okay. So those are my bunts. Now I will move on. And I've got some clams that are like this. They don't have, you know, the plastic container. They're just in the bag. So I'm going to open up some of these. 
there's five and I'll be right back. Okay. Um, I'm kind of late to get to the game on the beach night sense. I know a lot of, uh, I enjoy listening to a lot of you out there talk about beach nights. I haven't really experienced beach nights very much. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to start with wax dents, um, and just go from there. And so that's what I did. And this is called dinosaurs at the beach. And that's what she calls her beach nights. I think that is so cute. And look at the bar. And it is s'mores, toasted marshmallow, and salty sea air. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, you guys, where have I been? <laughs> yeah, Kelly, where have you been? This is so good. Yeah, you get the s'mores, you get the salty sea air, you get that toasted marshmallow. It's all there. It smells really good. So that is dinosaurs at the beach. There we go. So now I'm going to start um, testing the waters and try some other beach nights scents as I go along. Maybe even go to Bath and Body Works and try it from there, you know. Okay, the next one is Bama Lama Ding Dong. <laughs> I love the name. I love that color. Okay. It is banana cream pie, Twinkie, and wedding cake. Hello. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is amazing. I, I get the banana cream pie, the Twinkies, the wedding cake. I mainly get the banana cream pie, which I'm so excited about because I love banana. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy that the banana is stronger than anything else. But this smells amazing. It's making my mouth water. This is really good. So that is Bamalama Ding Dong. And I think that's one of her uh, one of her scents too that she gives really cute names to. I guess that's what I'm trying to say is, is her trademark name or, or the ones that she gives those specialty names to, you know. But even her scent list, it's, it's all hers. Um, you guys, I'm just rambling. Okay, this one, I, I guess I should tell you what I'm smelling. This one, okay, this one here was one that I said, I need a lemon blueberry pound cake. Do you have one? And she says, Kelly, I have something, maybe a lemon blueberry crumble. And I was like, I'll take it. And this is amazing. It's a blueberry, it's balanced really well. I don't get a whole lot, nothing is really screaming at me more lemon or blueberry. But it's um, lemon blueberry lemon blueberry something vanilla and vanilla pound cake you guys this is amazing i get the pound cake too the lemon and the blueberry is not overpowering the pound cake and that's what i wanted i really didn't want them to beat up the pound cake and the pound cake gets lost somewhere i can smell this and it's amazing amanda thank you so much you nailed it Yes. Okay. The other one, and I'm going to show you, it's in a pink wax, my favorite color, um, is called New York Halloween. And I know it's not Halloween, but I thought it just sounded good. It's cupcake at, cupcakes at Tiffany's, salty sea air, and toasted marshmallows. Oh, this is nice. Oh, man. This is so good. It kind of reminds you of Beach Nights just a little bit. But you got that Cupcakes at Tiffany's. This is so good, you guys. This is amazing. I love it. Okay. And then last but not least, we have Sitting Beachy in My Flip Flops. And it's a purple wax. And it is cantaloupe, creamy coconut, marshmallow balm, and flip flops. And a hint of salty sea air. And I can't remember what the flip-flops are. I think it's more added coconut, like creamy coconut. Oh, man. I'm not sure. Hold on just a minute. Okay, I went back over my notes. I can't find where I wrote the flip-flop scent down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the description of flip-flops along the bottom here so you can see it. But it is amazing. Yeah. Where is it? 
Where did I put you? Yeah, sitting beachy in my flip-flops. Yeah, so this is nice. I really, really like this. It's a very, very much a beachy scent. Very tropical. It is very, very good. It's almost edible. Yeah, that creamy coconut, cantaloupe, salty sea hair, and the flip-flops. You guys, this is good. This is really, really good. So, you guys, she just outdid herself. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. All right, so now I have some other things I want to share with you. This is from Walmart. I spent probably, I after I walked out of Walmart, I think with everything, I spent $113. So I did go over, but... Technically, I didn't. I think I only spent like $101 is what I went up to because the other stuff that I bought was not wax melts, but they had to do with wax melts. So I'm first going to show you the wax melts, and I got another orange buttercream cupcake. You guys, I love this scent. It was my favorite scent last month for my, my pick, and it is very, very good. This one, though, is a lot more orangier and doesn't have as much cupcake but it's a beautiful orange wax and there it is and it is orange zest vanilla and buttercream scent notes I don't remember it saying orange zest last time but maybe it did but it is so good so good and it does smell like orange zest okay and then I've seen a couple of you haul this especially Susan Fitzpatrick kitchen herb and I was so intrigued by this and it is so good and it is purple basil fennel wild lavender sage leaf mint and chamomile scent notes and it is amazing I can't wait to um warm this one if I can get out of the package so you can take a look there's the wax. There she is. Okay. And then I picked up um, three from Woodwick. I have never tried Woodwick, and I decided to give it a try. So we're just going to go with it. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is vanilla and sea salt. It's kind of a muted pink. You guys, this vanilla and sea salt combination is heaven. It's heaven. Vanilla, soft vanilla blossoms swirled with notes of sea salt and jasmine. Yes, you can pick up on the jasmine. The jasmine is what ties this together and makes it gorgeous. You guys, I highly recommend this one. I fell in love with it when I smelled it. They also make that in the candle. And this one, next one is called um, the Woodwick Trilogy. There is that one. And it is vanilla bean, caramel, and biscotti. To me, it's kind of like a coffee vanilla scent. So yeah, it looks like we've got vanilla bean on the top, caramel in the middle, and biscotti on the bottom. This is amazing, you guys. You could probably, probably what they want you to do is blend all these together or use alternating warmers. Um, I'm sure that's their method behind this one. Or you could just do them individually on their own. But I love the packaging. I like the aesthetics of this very, very well. And then last but not least, I have Coastal Sunset. And it's pink. And there is the wax. This is beautiful. It is beautiful. It is um, sun-kissed blossoms, inviting coconut nuances, salty ocean, ocean air capture the warm glow of the coast. This is beautiful, you guys. This is so nice. So yeah, I love it on cold. It's gorgeous, you guys. <laughs> 
It just has that coconut, coconutty, tropical, beachy vibe about it that is really good. I really like that one. So there is Coastal Sunset. Okay, so what else did I buy that kind of tipped me over the scale? You guys, I bought a tea light warmer. I have never used a tea light warmer before, so I'm excited about giving this a try. Um, yeah, I'm super excited. And this is a heavy duty warmer. This was around seven, almost $8 at my Walmart. And I love how it looks. It's just nice. I didn't want one that would be cheap or that it would crack or break or something like that, you know, and then I did buy some tea lights. So with this and the tea lights, that what, that's what pushed me over to $113, but I'm not going to count that. I am not going to count that. To me, I'm going to say I was around $101 and that's good. That's where I want to be. I mean, yeah. And with all the wax and everything that I got from Amanda, I'm super excited. I, I was, I'm just overjoyed. So you guys, that is my haul. I hope you enjoyed this and you guys take care.